Welcome back. Welcome back. You man, Dominic K in here, the Dominic K show on the all new radio on fire.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Here on the program, we deliver the biggest political and trending news stories of the day with interviews and original reporting from across this country. Emanating from our studios in Baltimore and Atlanta. The show is fun, the show is upbeat, but I also have to expose what is really going on in this country. Radio on Fire is Black Voices, giving you the American story. New episodes of the program drop Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. But I don't want you to miss any of our live broadcasts in addition to the 8 a.m. program. We drop content throughout the day as news happens. Hit that notification bell so you get an alert whenever we go live. The Dominic K Show is a Radio on Fire production. You can get the show uh, on demand. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, YouTube.com slash DJ Diamond K, and uh, also on the WRF Radio app. Simply download WRF Radio in your app store. Leave me a comment. Scroll your timeline, attend the Zoom meeting on mute, all while listening to the Diamond K Show. So a lot of things that I want to get into, and uh, I know that many of you have seen some of these images out there that have been floating around we've talked often about the crisis crisis at the border and uh you know a lot of people have talked about different things to combat the migrant crisis at the texas border white house is facing some very sharp criticism for their handling for their handling of Haitian migrants at the border. Uh, the optics of this are crazy. Take a look at some of these images. Look at some of these images. This is at the uh, Texas border. You see white men on horseback. Go to that next one. Yeah, this one right here. Especially disturbing. You see the white men with whips. They have whips. These Haitian migrants, that's food in their hands. And uh, I understand that the Border Patrol has a job to do. But there is a way that you do this job. Of course, we are seeing migrants, this influx of uh, migrants at the border. So it is not just Haitians. It's mostly Haitians. Mostly Haitians. Uh, But there's a lot going on here. And uh, we need to unpack this. We need to unpack this. So, uh, as you can see, Haitians and uh, and other other migrants. Like I said, it is not just folks from Haiti exclusively. It's just mostly, mostly Haitians. So th- there have been a lot of angry scenes. Because they've started deporting folks back to uh, their countries of origin. Last weekend, the United States started flying out migrants from a Texas border town, which has seen an influx of migrants in recent weeks. About 13,000 would be immigrants have gathered under a bridge connecting Del Rio in Texas to part of Mexico. Separately, reports have emerged of thousands of mostly Haitian, mostly Haitians stranded near the border between Colombia and Panama. So what is going on here? Chaos. Chaos has unfolded. There's uh, big debacles at the airport. 
one man attempted to reboard an aircraft. The plane's crew rushed to close the jet doors in time. It, it is it is a mess. It is a mess. Video footage taken from an airport shows people scrambling for their personal belongings after their bags were just dumped out of the plane. So they have been removing folks, as I said, taking many of them back to Haiti. According to a statement from DHS, which is the Department of Homeland Security, there were two separate incidents earlier this week at an airport. Uh, NBC News is reporting that the pilots on board of one of the flights were assaulted on arrival in Haiti and three U.S. immigration officers were also injured. Whoa, okay. So you got a separate incident in Texas. Group Groups of Haitians reportedly fought with Border Patrol agents. They're on horseback. They got whips. It The optics, the optics of this don't look good. What year is it? Is it 2021? What year is it? And do we have a better way of handling migrants? These are poor people. Just trying to get a better way. And okay, now they could have, you know, I, I mean, it, there's there's a certain way to do this. If you had Canadians rushing the border, they wouldn't be handling them like this. They wouldn't. But poor black and brown people, oh yeah, they don't have any problem handling folks any old kind of way. There is a way. Now, they should not be allowed in the country unless they go through the proper procedures. But this is supposed to be America, people. We have got to do better than this. We've got to hold these people to a higher standard. So yes, the White House is facing sharp criticism as they should. As they should. These images are unacceptable. Unacceptable. You can see here a border patrol agent on horseback. These these folks have food. Not a lot of uh, uh, money here. Not a lot of money here. You man, Diamond K in here. Diamond K in the morning on the all new radio on fire.com. The Diamond K show weekdays right here. Obviously, the handling, the removal of migrants has been criticized by many, including Partners in Health, an NGO that has been working in Haiti. This is a a very challenging and dangerous period for Haiti. It is unthinkably cruel to send men, women, and children back to what many of them do not even call home anymore. They should go through the paths to come here if that's what's going to happen. But the treatment of folks that are seeking help. I mean, imagine if, if a homeless gentleman comes in into a uh, some type of a center and they're treated just turned away because it's, it's not the time. This ain't the right door. Uh, you know, there's a certain way that we, we act. There's a, certain, there's a certain way that we act. About 4,000 people have either been deported or moved to other processing centers, according to 
DHS. And I'm sure that more information is going to come out about this. But as I said, the optics of this look really bad. The optics of this look bad. Black and brown people treated less than. There's a way that we have to do this. So flights could be ramped up to as many as seven a day. Isn't it amazing how money just pops up? Do you know how much money it costs to fly these folks? It's a lot of money. A lot of money. Earlier this week, the Associated Press reported that authorities are also releasing Haitian migrants into the U.S. on a very, very large scale. There's a lot of things going on. Officials add that many of the migrants have been given notices to appear at the immigration offices within 60 days. Stuff that we heard with many of the Mexican migrants. Officials said that this approach requires less processing time than having them appear before the immigration court. Migrants have been waiting in a makeshift camp in temperatures of 99 degrees. Fahrenheit. Very hot. We're talking about Texas now. Men, women, and children. So local officials have struggled to provide food, adequate sanitation. This is a mess. So I talked about who's in these camps. Mostly Haitians, but there are also Cubans, Peruvians, Venezuelans, Nicaraguans, all present. All trying to get a better way, a better life. But these folks deserve to be treated as human beings. We cannot see images, videos of white people on horses with whips treating these people like this. The Colombian government has said that around 19,000 migrants, mainly from Haiti, are stranded near the border with Panama. Migrants often cross into Panama and proceed on foot, part of this long journey north towards America. A very dangerous journey. So uh, the Colombians are saying that many of the migrants are stranded near the border as a result of an agreement between two countries restricting the number of migrants that are able to cross into Panama to just 250 per day. So they've tried to curb the numbers of the folks. Many Haitians left that country after a devastating earthquake in 2010. You remember that? Large number of those in the camp had been living in Brazil or other South American countries. They were traveling north because they've been unable to secure jobs or legal status. So they think that they can come to America. I mean, times could not be worse for Haiti. It is a impoverished uh, country. Very strong people. Very strong people. You remember over the summer, Haiti's president was assassinated. Then the next month after that, suffered another deadly earthquake. I mean, what is going on? So after going through all of that, these folks being treated, there there has been the announcement of U.S. probes onto these horseback, 
hooligans who are border patrol agents and how they're treating the Haitian migrants. The images that I have seen, the images showing these border patrol agents on horseback driving migrants back into the river like cattle has sparked outrage has sparked outrage so social media has been flooded with these images flooded homeland security says that they will investigate reports of alleged abuse what does that mean exactly yeah that was abuse or not he did what he had to do or understaffed. I mean, you know, it's going to be some foolishness. He said that the officers were trying to manage the migrants crossing the river. The footage was horrible to watch. Horrible. I posted on my Instagram at the Diamond Case Show a image that Martin Luther King Jr.'s daughter, Bernice King, shared of one of the Border Patrol agents with a whip, the Haitian migrant, side by side with something from the 1800s of Americans. whipping a slave also on horseback with a with the you know with the whip yes we don't have the full context but i can't imagine what context would make this appropriate i can't figure out what scenario makes this the way that america handles poor people coming here for help are they doing it the right way are they, is it too much for the for the people can to handle okay so we figure that out but this is not how you treat them it's not how you treat them but that's what we're dealing with we're dealing with pictures videos images reminiscent of the violence seen in slavery times in this country. This is under the Biden administration. Now, anybody that knows me, if, you, if you've watched this show, I have consistently criticized the Trump administration. This part, you know, what Trump administration did and kids in the cages and that whole thing, we talked about that ad nauseum. This is happening under the Biden administration. Biden has made a few steps that I don't agree with. Something needs to happen about this. Because this right now is Biden's America. Photos. We seen photos of folks going back and forth across the border to get food for their families and finding themselves blocked by horses. Oh, the border patrol agents, they big and bad. They big and bad. Some of the migrants started running to try to get around the horsemen. One of the agents grabbed the Haitian in the picture by the shirt and ended up swinging him around while the horse trotted in a circle. Disgusting. Just tuning in to the Dominic K Show here on RadioOnFire.com. All we keep hearing right now is the incident is being investigated. Incidents are being investigated. Call it unacceptable. Your damn right is unacceptable. 
This is going to be one of those investigations that goes on for years and years. Nobody knows who did nothing. Hmm. What is Biden doing differently at the border? I don't really see anything different. But Joe Biden has a big problem at the U.S. border. The number of people detained at this border in July exceeded 200,000 for the first time in 21 years, according to the government's data. So, yes, this is a big problem. U.S. Mexico border migrant levels reach a 21 year high. Joe Biden's America. If this was Trump's America, I would be saying the same thing. Like I said during his administration. This is Biden, Biden's America. We have to hold him to account. He's doing a lot of backslapping and 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 uh, wheeling and dealing. I want to see something different at the border. Folks are trying to come here because this is the best country in the world. But there are things that need to be done here to make it better and more fair for folks. We have got to do better. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at the Dominic K Show, at Radio on Fire. Of course, we have uh, some things to get out of the way. And, uh, you know, Tasty Moscato is a very sexy drink. You could pour sexy in a glass. This would be it. This smooth, seductive Moscato wine blended with vanilla takes your palate to a whole nother level of taste meat. Unlike most, tasty Moscato can be deliciously paired with a variety of meats, cheeses, veggies, as well as desserts. It's the sweet taste of luxury that you've been craving. It is Tasty Moscato. And make sure that you search Tasty Moscato on Facebook. That is T-A-S-T-E-T-E-E. Tasty Moscato. Search them on Facebook. All right, let's do this. Let's take a quick break. Come back with more of the Diamond K Show after this. Welcome back. You man, Diamond K in here. The Diamond K Show mornings on RadioOnFire.com. Another sponsor that we need to get to. And this one here, I need to talk to all of my ladies right now. If you are looking for those must-have beauty products, look no further. JStoverBeauty.com has quality wigs, Indian hair extensions, virgin hair extensions, professional hair care products, edge control, flat iron mist, mink eyelashes, satin wig bags, wax sticks, lace concealer, lace tint, and so much more. JStoverBeauty.com also does custom wig making, maintenance, and revamp services. You can check them out on social media, JStoverBeauty on Instagram. J Stover Beauty LLC on Facebook. Be a girl with mind, a woman with attitude, and a lady with class. Visit jstoverbeauty.com. And we are back here on the Diamond K Show. Your man Diamond K in here. And you know, we were talking about the situation at the border. 
the backlash that the White House is facing, bipartisan backlash. You know Republicans are going to come down on them. But Democrats coming down on this as well. Very, very sharp condemnation. Democrats had for the handling of the influx of Haitian migrants at the U.S. southern border. These images, striking videos, agents maneuvering horses and forcibly blocking and moving migrants that are attempting to cross the border. So folks on Capitol Hill, we've heard the vice president. People who are calling on the Biden administration to end its use of pandemic era authority to deport migrants without giving them the opportunity to seek asylum. These folks are trying to seek asylum and they're just flying them out like out of here. We don't even want to even entertain it. That's how they're being treated. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Democrat of New York, who is an ally of Joe Biden, said that his stomach was turned by those images. He called on the administration to discontinue the hateful and xenophobic policies of Biden's predecessor, Donald Trump. They are pushing this as a continuation of Trumpism. And that may be true. The policies that are being enacted now and the horrible treatment of innocent people who have just come to the border must stop immediately. Immediately. At the same time, Joe Biden's administration continues to face attacks from the Republicans who say that Biden isn't doing enough at the border. Democrats and and some Republicans are also criticizing what they've seen thus far. It is not an easy job that Joe Biden has. This is a growing political problem for the president. Growing, growing political problem. So according to reports, Homeland Security chief claims that the agents involved have been placed on administrative duties pending the outcome of this investigation. The actions we're taking are swift and strong and we will take further action as the facts <laughs> really <laughs> we already have what happened you know what i mean just give them the play the tape look at the whole tape it's a very uncomfortable position that the administration is in i mean the immigration situation is is complex it is a complex issue no one from any administration, Republican or Democrat, has been able to fix this problem for decades. Now, Biden has the misfortune of being trapped between conflicting interests of broadcasting compassion while also dealing with the throngs of migrants attempting to come into this country illegally but seeking a better life they should not be treated as criminals they should not be treated as criminals so we're going to see what happens NAACP President Derek Johnson demanded a meeting with President Biden to discuss the situation and called the treatment of the Haitian migrants utterly sickening. A second that. The humanitarian crisis happening under this administration at the southern border is disgusting. It's disgusting. 
And it takes us back to some of the darkest, most despicable points in American history. So we have this to deal with. Vice President weighed in. She told reporters in Washington that she was deeply troubled by the images. Harris has been tasked with addressing the root causes of immigration. I can do that for you real quick. Vice President Harris, money, jobs, opportunity. The U.S. should support some of those very basic needs that the people of Haiti have. This is what's causing them to flee their homes and go on the dangerous track to the U.S. It's the same thing that drove and drives migrants from Mexico. It's the same thing. Images are horrifying. The images are horrifying. A crisis that began at the southern border now extends beyond to every state. It's bad everywhere, right? There's room for improvement everywhere. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at the Dominic K Show, at Radio on Fire. The Diamond K Show brought to you in part by the 10th Annual Baltimore Music Awards. The awards were created to give recognition to Baltimore's entertainment community. Each year, each year, the community has the opportunity to nominate and vote for the winners of each category. The 2021 categories include album, DJ, documentary, female artist, male artist, producer, inspirational artist, online radio station, online radio show, podcast, radio station, radio show, stand-up comedian, and web series. Winners for the 2021 Baltimore Music Awards will be announced Thursday, November the 4th, 7 p.m., live on RadioOnFire.com. It is the 10th annual Baltimore Music Awards. Let your voice be heard at this celebration of Baltimore entertainment. Visit RadioOnFire.com slash Baltimore Music Awards. Very excited about that, of course, on social media at Baltimore Music Awards. You may Diamond K. I am here. The Diamond K Show mornings on Radio on Fire. I I feel very strongly about what we've been talking about today, as far as the treatment the treatment of these men, women. And children at the border. It's got to be better. Got to be better. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back. Your man Diamond K in here. The Diamond K Show. Brought to you in part by jstoverbeauty.com. I want to talk directly to my ladies out there. If you are looking for must-have beauty products, look no further. JStoverBeauty.com has quality wigs, Indian hair extensions, virgin hair extensions, professional hair care products, edge control, flat iron mist, mink eyelashes, satin wig bags, wax sticks, lace concealer, lace tint, and so much more jstoverbeauty.com also does custom wig making maintenance and revamp services you can check them out on social media jstoverbeauty on instagram 
J Stover Beauty LLC on Facebook. Be a girl with mind, a woman with attitude, and a lady with class. Visit jstoverbeauty.com. And of course, your man Diamond K, I will be back here tomorrow. I'm about to go in the mix, but uh, I will be back tomorrow with more of my thoughts on a lot, a lot of things. Uh, of course, this weekend, I am in the mix for the All Mix Weekend, 6 to 8 p.m., RadioFire.com, WRFRadio.com. Submit music to DJ Diamond K at Gmail. Dot com. Diamond K in the morning. You want to support the program? Very easy to do that. Visit RadioFire.com. I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>